so I was trying to burn a um, vegetable oil mix and uh, I have a very hard time to light the furnace you know here I'm recuperating uh, oil and uh, it's just very hard to ignite and uh, I think I have a remedy and I'll show you what I'm doing so I took out the burner head and uh, here you can see the, no the nozzle uh, what I did at least now I'm uh, mounting uh, this piece here which is a, a PTC thermistor and this is actually from um, a mosquito mosquito tablet uh, repellent you know that you plug in in the wall I took that element out because I know it's uh, 100 degrees Celsius it's a little bit too hot but I couldn't find um, any other heater that stays at a certain temperature so I know that this one stays at 100 but I'm hoping that the surface is large enough to dissipate and I don't think that this pipe will ever get 100 degrees but anyway so I'm mounting this um, I don't want to drill a hole in here this is where the the sensor goes for the lights I'm hoping that with the rubber I can squeeze it in so this should preheat the oil the vegetable oil enough to make it um, more liquid we'll see how that goes okay guys so <clears throat> my first attempt of using the mosquito repellent element didn't really work out because as you can see I didn't didn't really have a contact surface and it took forever forever to get warm but I actually lost a lot of heat from around um, this element so what I am came up with now I opened the hot glue gun this is the, the nozzle from a hot glue gun and here is the this heating element the PTC element which is actually excellent and this is a aluminum uh, let's call it aluminum pipe where the hot glue goes in and you see they have this surface 100% 100% uh, surface contact area so what I'm going to do I'm going to sorry I'm going to cut this with the saw here and I'm going to try and clamp it around the pipe and ha hope to have enough surface area so here here's what that nozzle looks like from the <coughs> hot glue gun that's that oh, sorry that's this nozzle and uh, I basically I saw that in half there was some glue inside so I just used a, a burner to heat up that glue and scrape it out so now I have this perfect uh, shape here to put that uh, for that element and this fits exactly around you see and I'm going to put uh, only one hand here but this will go on top as a cover and uh, I'll uh, wrap a metal wire You know like this this will be the top part this on the bottom as close to the nozzle as possible and let's see okay so now here is everything mounted it looks pretty professional so here is that uh, hot glue gun uh, that I cut in half that PTC element some heat shields and I just wired it up temporarily like this with a little switch so I'm going to turn it on and, and see what happens oh yeah it, immediately you can feel the heat I'm just going to let it run and see I have no thermometer so I don't know what temperatures we have 
but the hot glue gun reaches 200 I think but I'm hoping that it will uh, let's say lose a little bit heat around um, essentially we want to heat up this whole um, nozzle which is copper yeah you can definitely feel the heat yeah this this uh, heating element is actually excellent I'm going to just um, leave this sit up sit here a little bit heating to see if there's no uh, danger or, or anything but so far so good it's nice and warm I'm just hoping that it will distribute um, for a good part I know that this one will absorb heat we'll see I'll let you know I will install it and let you know